Well, that time went fast. Here we are again. Um, well, that time certainly did go fast. If you have been following along our story, you would know that at the beginning of this year, I had my second lot of cancer. Now, um, I had cancer four years ago, and then this year I also had to go and have open surgery to remove a cancerous tumour from my kidney. Um, worst pain I think I have ever felt in my life. Anyway, um, it's very important once you've had cancer to make sure you get your checkups done. So here we are. It is time to get the scans done, which is what I'm going to go and get done today. I have blood tests to do and then after that I will be going back down to Brisbane to have an appointment with the specialist and to review all of those results. The anxiety and the fear that comes with getting testing done is very, very real. Um, very much so. You know you have to get the testing done. Uh, it's important to keep on top of that, but it is very scary. To go back and get these tests done. The actual getting the test is not so bad, it's the waiting in between before you see the doctor and you get all of those results. I'm going to do my best not to take my anxiety and put it onto the family, but um, it is very real. It uh, It is hard to do this. So I'm praying very hard that I'm going to get clear results from this and that everything will be working as it should be. So I'm going to do my very best to try not to be too scared. Um, I've got one of my best friends going down with me today, basically just to hold my hand while I get my scan done. Um, because of COVID, I don't think they can actually come right in uh, to the radiologist with you, but they can certainly come to the waiting room with me. So we'll go out for a cuppa and something to eat afterwards. I'm going to go and have another big glass of water. You have to be very hydrated for these scans and um, and I'm just going to go get this done. I'll let you know how I get on. Well, yesterday I got my CT scans done. Uh, it went okay. I have terrible, terrible veins. So when anyone needs to either take blood or, you know, put a drip in or anything like that, they always have trouble. Um, so I did. They did have trouble sort of putting the um, the dye in the back of my hand. So it hurt so much when it was going in. They had to slow it right down and because uh, it was swelling up where it was going in and that's that's not their fault on how they put it in that's that's my veins for you <laughs> they're just they're just really really bad um but i can tick that off my list now that part of it's done now we move on to blood tests and then i will get to my specialist appointment and we can find out if everything is still a-okay and Make sure that nasty cancer is gone, stays gone. Uh, don't, uh, <laughs> I really don't want to have to face anything like that again. So, you know, follow-ups, as I said yesterday, are really super important to make sure that you, um, that you get the test done, even if you're scared. It's better to get the test done and know what you have to do. Um, but there's nothing like having a doctor say, that's all clear. <laughs> you know, so that's what I'm waiting on. And um, yeah, thanks for your encouragement along the way. I really appreciate that. So many people praying for me all the time. And that just gives me so much joy and makes me feel so loved. So thank you for that. 
let's get on with this day um, and I will keep you updated on the specialist appointment. So I'll catch you when I head down there. Okay, bye. So I had my CT scans done. I hate the waiting. I hate the waiting after all of these tests, but um, it is what it is. So, you know, you just have to do that. And today's job is to go and get the blood test done. So, you know, full blood count, they check your kidney function to make sure everything is uh, well and uh, doing what it's supposed to do. I do not envy anyone trying to do a blood test on me. I've had so many done over the years between having babies and, you know, two lots of cancer and other surgeries that I've had. Uh, you know, there's there's been a lot of blood tests. I've got veins that, uh, that like to hide, <laughs> so it's always a little bit difficult. Um, I've tried to be really well hydrated as I go into this appointment to try and make it as easy for the ladies as I can. But we'll see how it goes today. They um, they may or may not be able to get the test done. Um, I feel like I have healed well from the surgery. Um, Health-wise, I'm very tired and maybe not quite as um, healthy feeling as what I I could be. So, you know, we're just sort of running through all the tests and making sure everything's okay. But we will travel down there very soon. But for right now, you know, I've dropped the kids to school. I'm off to get these blood tests done. And then it's just a regular old day filled with housework, which I just love doing. I mean, yes, it's just housework. Yes, it's just running kids around to school and stuff. But this is my life and I love it. Um, I love, you know, giving to my family and I love looking after my family. So... We will get into this. Let's get this blood test out of the way first and so I can tick that off the list and we'll move on from there. Okay, well it's all done. It did take them a few goes to get the test done, but it's all done now so I can head on home, make myself a cuppa and get on with the day.